OU Football Preview Show. Sponsored by McIntyre Law Firm, Hal Smith Restaurant Group, Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center, Laser Light Skin Care Center, Natural Native CBD Products, Cosina Domino, and Orthodontics Exclusively. Now here's your host, Rick Heath. Hello sports fans, welcome to the OU Football Preview Show. I'm Rick Heath. With me, Al Eschbach, and Al, we are at a brand new Hal Smith Restaurant Group spot called Maddie McMillan's Irish Pub, 150 North Penn, brand new concept, and it's named after longtime Bob Stoops aide, Matt McMillan. Bob Stoops' best friend, Matt McMillan. Uh, came to OU with Matt McMillan, and uh, they went back, we're back from, I guess, Iowa and Kansas State, whatever, Kansas State, but they're best friends, and what a great concept. It's a new concept that Hal Smith had. And this is a true Irish pub. I'm drinking uh, like an Irish red ale. Uh, the I- Irish beer, and it's great. They got Irish pub food, and we'll talk more about that a little bit later. But it's a great, great new concept. Oh, yeah. uh, as you can see behind us, a lot of fun things going on. Plus, you know, uh, all the specials that they're going to have. And anytime you're wanting Irish pub food, you got to come to Maddie McMillan's new Irish pub here at 150th and North Penn. Al, what have you heard about uh, the summer workouts? I mean, the preseason workouts going up for OU so far. Okay, let's let, let's we can break down uh, things that they're worried about. Uh, I think the main concern is safety slot. Okay, uh, right now, definitely on defense. That's the main uh, concern. Uh, biggest surprise, you know, you, which is kind of funny. Individual biggest surprise, you know, it might be. I have a name of Drake Stoops. Is that right? So Drake may be making himself a, a player. We, we, we're, I was trying to talk, you remember Richard, and very show and I were talking about who's, what true freshman walk-on has ever played a lot at OU. We couldn't think of anybody. Yeah, you know, and, and he, of course, everybody is familiar with him and his, and his, his twin. Isaac. Uh, Isaac, you know, and Isaac. And his dad, Bob. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Some guy, some guy named Bob yeah, running yeah. around behind the practice. Yeah, he's like, the slot. He's the only him. dad that gets to go to practice. Yeah. yeah <laughs> <right>. <laughs> anyway, so that's that could be the surprise of the camp. That'll be a lot of fun yeah, to see. Yeah. That's uh, that's that's uh, neat. There, it's it's the the, the key is going to be okay. The offense going to be really good. Not as good as it was the last year, but it's going to be really good. Uh, but the how much better the defense is. It, it, a lot's going to depend on that defensive line. Like, will Neville Gallow more play like he does in practice and like they expect him to be? Uh, he was a huge disappointment the year ago. Well, we'll find out more about that as the, as the days go along. But hey, if you want to find out more about Matty McMillan's Irish pub, you got to come out here. 150th North Penn, great new spot here for the House Smith Restaurant Group. Come out and enjoy the wonderful Irish beers and Irish pub food available here at Maddie McMillan's. We'll be right back after this. I'm attorney Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law. Over the past 20 years, we have fought for Oklahomans who have been injured by medical malpractice and medical device injuries. These injuries are caused by products including defective hip implants, transvaginal mesh implants, Zofran, Zeralto, Invocana, and IVC filters. Unfortunately, these type of injuries happen every day, and it's good to have a local expert to turn to for help. On behalf of myself and the entire McIntyre Law team, I can assure you, no one will work harder than we would. Natural Native CBD products in Redbud Plaza in Norman is a great place to get your CBD products. They're organic and all natural. And research and studies have shown that CBD products help with pain and inflammation, antipsychotic effects, reduces anxiety, relieves nausea, may treat seizures and other neurological disorders lowers the incidences of diabetes and promotes cardiovascular health and overall well-being. So if you're looking for the best CBD products in the metro area, natural native products in Redbud Plaza in Norman, all organic, 100% pure. I, I don't talk politics on this show, but there's something that's coming up to vote November 
uh, of, that affects a lot of people and a lot of Oklahomans, and that is 793, state question 793. Suffice to say, the people I've talked to advised to vote no on question 793. Keep optometrists out of big box stores like Walmart, Costco, and the rest. Let the small Oklahoma optometrists survive in this economy by voting no on state question 793. Maddie McMillan's Irish Pub now open at 150th and Penn, featuring traditional Irish favorites and a, with a modern twist. Maddie's is a pub-inspired eatery, features nearly 30 Irish and American whiskeys and scotches, as well as beers, cocktails like the Guinness Float ice cream and Guinness, or Eden's Apple hard cider and Guinness. Maddie McMillan's hosts kegs and eggs brunch every Saturday and Sunday and is sure to be the perfect hangover cure. The brunch features omelet bar, Bloody Mary station, along with $2 mimosas and $13 mimosas carafes. Grab your friends and hang out at Marty McMillan's on 150th and North Penn. And welcome back OU Football Preview Show. Ricky Al Eschbach coming to you from Matty McMillan's Irish Pub, 150 North Penn. Great new concept by the House Smith Restaurant Group. Come out, try the Irish beers. The Irish, they've got over 30 Irish whiskeys and, and scotches available. Just an unbelievable, cool place, new and uh, good place to do shots. Yeah, do lots of good shots. Exactly. Of course, any place is a good place to do yeah. shots, Al. I mean, but especially Matty McMillan's Irish Pub and the rest of the House Smith Restaurant Group group of restaurants. I feel like Harry Carey used to be doing the Cub game with a beer right in front yeah, of him. Yeah, <laughs> that was part of his shtick, no and that's part of your shtick. Yeah. That's great. I See, I need a water. Yeah. You know, I'd be knocking him back and not doing so well. You and Harry got it down. Hey, uh, so the, 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 the basic premise of OU offense is going to be pretty good. It's not going to be as good. I mean, Baker but, Mayfield was once in a generation. But offensive line to be really good. They, they talk about three receivers. Uh, we already know Hollywood Brown and, and, and Lamb, they're great. Cal Capera, they think, may eventually be better than uh, Andrews. See, and I like that because you can see he, he's got a little bit more athleticism. Athleticism. I mean, Andrews is. A little is, bit more flexible body wise. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was like a wide receiver in high school and stuff, so he's. Well, Andrews is like a locomotive, you know. I mean, he just got the ball and chug, 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 chug down the yeah. field, you know. Cal he, you know, he might be able to make somebody miss instead of run them over. But so, uh, so they, those are good. Now, who else do they have though that they think they can depend well, on? Well, that's what we're going to see. I don't uh, see what what Mikel Jones can do. What uh, Miller? Miller's been around forever. He's a senior yeah. now. Yeah. He's a senior now. How about uh, Charleston? Uh, uh, Charleston Rambo. Rambo. I mean, yeah. I, I, he was highly recruited. I know, and uh, I really haven't heard his name mentioned a lot. But let's let's see what Rambo can do. Uh, Michael Jones. Michael Jones. We talked about Michael Jones makes a big play. I think Drake Soup is going to be uh, involved. Well, you know, I mean, he he might be the perfect inside slot receiver. You know, the Wes Welker kind of guy. That catches everything. Yeah, I mean, you just get near him, he catches it, he makes a couple of moves, he gets another four or five yards down yeah. the line, and boom, you got a first down. I, I, I kind of think that, like I said, we're going we're to see a lot of, uh, of great students. He's really had a good camp. And, Offensive line, there's no Orlando Brown or, or Ren, but this is a really good group of offensive line. And then let's not forget running back, Rodney Anderson, I saw one thing. They had him right, right as the third best running back in the country behind the kid from Alabama and left from Stanford. That's pretty good. Uh, That's pretty good. And no kid for for a three. guy that came, had a terrible first half of the season that she did nothing. And then say him might have been the best quarterback in the country. Well, you know, he came on last year, Al, and, and we've talked about that before, but he he act, he started getting his his running legs and his and his rhythm back He's after confident. two years of injuries. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and it, so and, and Trey, Trey Sermon. Sermon's been yeah, really good. Sermon's good. I mean and, he's and big and a bruiser. We'll who's the third back? Is it Sutton? Is it Kennedy Brooks? I think Pledge of Freshman Red Shirts. Uh, so uh, they, they're, they're, gonna score, they're gonna score a bunch of points. They're now, of course, score. we haven't mentioned that one position on offense that who takes Baker Mayfield. Kyler Murray should, and we're gonna we're gonna just go on the assumption that he should. I mean, and he presents a whole new um, dimension to Lincoln Riley's fanatical 
genius well, for and, offensive and, and play I, calling. I wondered why Lincoln delayed the decision. Was it to make Florida Atlantic think for what they were going to do and not open? I, I have no idea why Lincoln uh, is, is chosen that. But you know, the cynic in me says he wants to keep Austin Kendall around. But I hate. But he has to. Once the kids go to class now, we can't go anywhere. That's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm. You know, yeah. that's. I, but I would, I've also I heard would, Austin Kendall been big time. So well, Austin, Austin Kendall, Kendall, yes. So I, I, you know, I, you'd like to think then the positive side. Then you guys like Barry Switch go. Austin Kendall's gonna be a star. So. Uh, it, 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 well, he's got a chance now. I mean, if, if Austin Kendall knows what he's doing, okay, there's a chance that that he becomes a two-year starter because Kyler Murray is going to go sign baseball, right. and they're going to share some time, perhaps this year anyway. Yeah. They're both are going to play. Lincoln Riley said. No, he said he's going to get a wrong quarterback. Well, he said he said the only reason I'll go two quarterback if he gets hurt, <laughs> which well, I like. I don't like the two quarterback. Hey, speaking of getting hurt, we were talking to Dr. Michael Padilla from. Uh, uh, orthopedic center, sports, sports center medicine, uh, about the dead arm syndrome. A lot of quarterbacks coming out in high school, college, all that. If they're throwing too much, they get a dead arm center. We're going to be talking to Dr. Padilla when we get back here on the OU Football Preview Show. And let me tell you about a new sponsor that we have here at the OU Football Preview Show, and that is Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center with over 10 locations throughout the state. Locations in Moore, Prague, Purcell, Holdenville, Seminole, Durant, Ada, Midwest City, Weatherford, Falls Valley, and Norman. And they have six orthopedic surgeons and one podiatrist. They have in-house physical therapy and one of the largest open MRIs in the state. So if you're needing work with orthopedics, then you need to call Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center in Norman and find out the nearest location to you and let one of their expert orthopedic surgeons take care of your problem the right way the first time. That's Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center, 10 locations throughout the state, including in Norman. I'm attorney Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law. Over the past 20 years, we have fought for Oklahomans who have been injured by medical malpractice and medical device injuries. These injuries are caused by products including defective hip implants, transvaginal mesh implants, Zofran, Zoralto, Invocana, and IVC filters. Unfortunately, these type of injuries happen every day, and it's good to have a local expert to turn to for help. On behalf of myself and the entire McIntyre Law team, I can assure you, no one will work harder than we will. Natural Native CBD products in Redbud Plaza in Norman is a great place to get your CBD products. They're organic and all natural. And research and studies are show, have shown that CBD products help with pain and inflammation, antipsychotic effects, reduces anxiety, relieves nausea, may treat seizures and other neurological disorders lowers the incidences of diabetes, and promotes cardiovascular health and overall well-being. So if you're looking for the best CBD products in the metro area, natural native products in Redbud Plaza in Norman, all organic, 100% pure. I, I don't talk politics on this show, but there's something that's coming up to vote November uh, that affects a lot of people and a lot of Oklahomans, and that is 793, state question 793. Suffice to say, the people that I've talked to advise to vote no on question 793. Keep optometrists out of big box stores like Walmart, Costco, and the rest. Let the small Oklahoma optometrist survive in this economy by voting no on state question 793. And welcome back, OU Football Preview Show. I'm Rick Keith, and with us now, Dr. Michael Padilla from Hello. Orthopedic Sports Medicine. Thank you, sir. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Good. Um, busy week this week. I um, have surgery after this, but good week. There, there you go, and, yeah. and that's what you do, sir. That's what that's I what do. You help people do, out, yeah. and, that, and we're going to help people out right now yeah. with, with especially the young, the youngsters out there, college, high school, uh, even pros. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Luck, I was listening to a game, and they were talking about Andrew Luck coming out of a dead arm syndrome uh you know he's been off for two years almost at and now he's been throwing more than he's had uh, in those two years and so they're they're talking about dead arm syndrome for the viewers out there what is a dead arm syndrome um i'm, I'm not really certain on what they were referring to in, in andrew luck's context because i know he's had multiple shoulder, shoulder surgeries some labral issues and it might just 
for him, I don't know if he had a true dead arm syndrome. When we're talking about a true dead arm syndrome, it's, a, it's a basically a nerve injury. So um, dead arm syndrome, uh, people may, re may, may refer to or know it as like a burner or a stinger. Uh, and I've dealt with that quite a bit. Um, I remember specifically when I was finishing up my training in San Diego as a fellow in sports medicine, there was one kid, we had a, we had a weekly, during the fall, we had a, um, every Saturday we had training room and there was one kid that came in with dead arm syndrome. He, had a, he got a pretty bad burner and um, he basically, he had numbness on the side of his arm and just profound weakness actually. And so we were just checking him every week until he got his sensation back. So what it is, is it's a nerve injury. Um, you know, everyone knows the spinal cord comes, um, you know, uh, it comes out of the, the brain and it travels down the, the spine. It's protected by the, the bones that, that make up the spine. And, it, and the nerves come out and there's a collection of nerves um, in the neck called the brachial plexus. And the brachial plexus is um, from that, all the nerves that supply sensation and, and, and motor function to our arm, uh, that's, where, that's where it originates. And so a, a burner or stinger, dead arm syndrome, is when that gets injured, when the brachial plexus gets injured, and specifically you get numbness um, around the side of the arm over the deltoid, and you get weakness of the deltoid as well. And you can get it in a number of ways. You can get it with um, a track, yeah, uh, that's you're putting the, the nerves on stretch, and if someone lands awkwardly with their neck, it, it, um, uh, hyper extended or, or um, I guess someone bent lands awkwardly in the opposite neck, direction and the um, shoulder gets pressed down, or, or, that puts a lot of traction, guess, traction on the brachial plexus. You can also get it through compressive forces, which is the opposite way. So the basically the brachial plexus gets pinched or you can just get hit right on the brachial plexus, which is a soft spot right up here. So, or you can just get hit right on the brachial plexus, which is a soft spot right up here. Now, well, do, do they have it? That's a Does different it thing. So you can, um, you can get. Or is that a different? Is that a different? Um, that's a different um, thing. Which so you um, can, um, I'm not. Um, I feel like I should know more about this because you know Andrew Luck is a uh, um, is a Stanford not, guy and I'm yeah, a Stanford yeah, guy. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah. So you know, but Stanford guy. Stanford guys take care of Stanford guys. What that is is there's a number of reasons we see it quite a bit in baseball pitchers. Actually, it's it's basically you have similar concept. You have compression of the vascular structures and the nerves coming out of the neck. It's similar concept. You have compression of the And it can be from an inflammatory process, which certainly could have happened with Andrew Luck. You can have an accessory. Ribs, and, uh, accessory rib, things like that. Regardless, when you have dead arm syndrome, you don't want the athlete playing. You, like you do not play. Regardless, if you, you play, syndrome, you can risk further injury, and that can be permanent. So, so, they, so they put them on total rest. Total, total rest. We we check them. We check their function. Permanent. When they, so they, they return, so they when they have no numbness or tingling, and when they have full strength and full range of motion without pain and without no 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 cutting back or throwing, and they just stop. Just stop. So no 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 until cutting back or throwing, and they just are resolved into full strength. High school guys, college guys, if you start getting in that Dr. Padilla, so shut it down, don't slow it down. All right, you high school guys, college guys, if you start getting in that Dr. Padilla, so shut it down, don't slow it down, shut it down, get well, come back in a healthier manner. Dr. Padilla, thank you so much. Dr. Padilla, Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center. They have 10 locations throughout the state. Find a location if you have a problem and let their experts like Dr. Padilla take care of your problem. That'll do and let me tell you about a new sponsor that we have here at the OU Football Preview Show, and that is Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center with over 10 locations throughout the state. Locations in Moore, Prague, Purcell, Holandville, Seminole, Durant, Ada, Midwest City, Weatherford, Paul's Valley, and Norman. And they have six orthopedic surgeons and one podiatrist. They have in-house physical therapy and one of the largest open MRIs in the state. So if you're needing work with orthopedics, then you need to call Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center in Norman and find out the nearest location to you and let one of their expert orthopedic surgeons take care of your problem the right way the first time. That's Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center, 10 locations throughout the state, including in Norman. I'm attorney Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law. Over the past 20 years, we have fought for Oklahomans who have been injured by medical malpractice and medical device injuries. These injuries are caused by products including defective hip implants, transvaginal mesh implants, Zofran, Zeralto, Invocana, and IVC filters. Unfortunately, these type of injuries happen every day, and it's good to have a local expert to turn to for help. On behalf of myself and the entire McIntyre Law team, I can assure you, no one will work harder than we will. Natural Native CBD products in Redbud Plaza in Norman is a great place to get your CBD products. They're organic and all natural. And research and studies have shown 
that CBD products help with pain and inflammation, antipsychotic effects, reduces anxiety, relieves nausea, may treat seizures and other neurological disorders, lowers the incidences of diabetes, and promotes cardiovascular health and overall well-being. So if you're looking for the best CBD products in the metro area, natural native products in Redbud Plaza in Norman, all organic, 100% pure. I, I don't talk politics on this show, but there's something that's coming up to vote November uh, that affects a lot of people and a lot of Oklahomans, and that is 793, state question 793. Suffice to say, the people that I've talked to advise to vote no on question 793. Keep optometrists out of big box stores like Walmart, Costco, and the rest. Let the small Oklahoma optometrists survive in this economy by voting no on state question 793. And let me tell you about a new sponsor that we have here at the OU Football Preview Show, and that is Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center with over 10 locations throughout the state. Locations in Moore, Prague, Purcell, Holdenville, Seminole, Durant, Ada, Midwest City, Weatherford, Paul's Valley, and Norman. And they have six orthopedic surgeons and one podiatrist. They have in-house physical therapy and one of the largest open MRIs in the state. So if you're needing work with orthopedics, then you need to call Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center in Norman and find out the nearest location to you and let one of their expert orthopedic surgeons take care of your problem the right way the first time. That's Orthopedic Sports Medicine Center, 10 locations throughout the state, including in Norman. I'm attorney Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law. Over the past 20 years, we have fought for Oklahomans who have been injured by medical malpractice and medical device injuries. These injuries are caused by products including defective hip implants, transvaginal mesh implants, Zofran, Zeralto, Invocana, and IVC filters. Unfortunately, these type of injuries happen every day, and it's good to have a local expert to turn to for help. On behalf of myself and the entire McIntyre Law team, I can assure you, no one will work harder than we will. I, I don't talk politics on this show, but there's something that's coming up to vote November uh, that affects a lot of people and a lot of Oklahomans, and that is 793, state question 793. Suffice to say, the people that I've talked to advise to vote no on question 793. Keep optometrists out of big box stores like Walmart, Costco, and the rest. Let the small Oklahoma optometrists survive in this economy by voting no on state question 793. And welcome back to OU Football Preview Show. I want to thank some wonderful sponsors of our show, the Trails Golf Club in Norman. Fall golf is just a swing away almost, and it is nice at the trail. Championship golf course in great shape, coming out with all this rain. It's plush, it's lush, and it's ready for you to come play. If you'd like to try it, Give Kathy Hess a call at 364-3790. She'll set you up for a member for a day. You come down, play, you have lunch, see what it's like. She'll talk to you about membership, and you get a chance to be a member of a championship course, you and your family. So give them a call, 364-3790. Brown Shoe Fit Company, back to school sales. I've already gone, but you can still get bargains for men, women, and children at Brown Shoe Fit. All the top designer shoes for you ladies. They got great support for uh, for children's shoes and for the guys they got styles and rugged boots plus all of the running shoes that al you and i both need the running Absolutely. shoes right that's right anyway brown shoe fit company next to hobby lobby on main street in norman also keystone construction and excavation if you need dozer work for pad sites land clearing ponds lakes track hole or skid steer work go KeystoneConstruction.com. Oklahoma Dirt Works and Rex Gibson Construction also work with Keystone Construction and they will clear land and make it look beautiful. They did that for me and it does look beautiful. And Crutch Sod came in after Keystone Construction cleared it and, and Crutch Sod, being doing this since 1983, 35 years in business, locally owned and operated, a great, great company and they will take care of your needs. They'll make your yard or your land look like a football, baseball, soccer field. That's what they do for the most part, is they do those side, those work. 
They do it for land and individual people. Crutch side, give them a call. And also, Tim Shannon and Dr. Mark Revels of Orthodontics exclusively. You need to call them at 321-2735, and they will get your child a smile that will be there for life. Al, the defense we talked about, just the safeties are the biggest question mark. They moved Jordan Parker over. Have they gotten anything out of that where they know that maybe this is going to be a fit for him? I don't know. I think he had a good scrimmage last scrimmage, uh, recovered the fumble. And, uh, I don't I think, but like you said, Houghton's had a good game. So we'll see. And, and Parker's back battling Houghton. On the other side, you have Royals from John Marshall and Richard last year. So, uh, uh, and, and they, they finally got back uh, Bookie, the great freshman, uh, uh, Ratley Hiles uh, this week, in fact, he had missed some time. Now they've set him back some, but he's going to be a nickelback. So they think he's going to be really good. It, 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 it's kind of crazy because it, it, it's like last year they couldn't get the proctor get from Owasso with Ohio State. This year, Doc Hill's not even considering them uh, and uh, one of the top safeties in the country. But that's the position they got to get better at in, in that safety. Well, you know, and that's the one thing that, that holds the kind of glues the secondary together is those safety spots. And last year, you know, Parker was there and, and he did the a four year starter. Yeah, Stephen Parker, and he was good, but now they've got to have a whole new leadership group, and, you know, come up and start taking charge of that backfield. Because they, they're going to they're be good at corner. Uh, they, they're going to be, uh, I think, uh, Norwood, uh, Motley, and then you got uh, Trey Brown back. And so. Be pretty good you know, and if, and if Buki Bradley Hines, if he if he comes along like they think, that that nickel spot's going to be good, so they yeah. can play a lot of nickel. You know, and now and they think they are a lot. I think they don't have at the Jack. They don't have an oboe. They don't have a striker this year. Yeah, you know, and that's the one thing they're going to have to be more creative. Mike Stoops is really going to have to be on his uh, on his best. As far as calling up and dialing up plays to get pressure on the opposing team's quarterback. And guys like, uh, like I said, Gallimore got to come in and play well. Uh, I think Kenneth Mann at defensive ends had a, a really good uh, camp. Well, they need they need somebody that can not only hold the edge on the rush, but get some pressure get some on that. Pressure on you know, rush. and they also, you know, what whatever whatever the the one of the best quarterbacks ever, Tom Brady. You know what really bothers him more than anything? Rush up the middle. He cannot handle that, and that's how you beat him. Well, so, and, and that's where you get a lot, you know, with your, your, your blitz, uh, uh, the linebacker. So, uh, you, you know, see what Murray got out of this year. I mean, that, that's, that's yeah. brilliant. Ken, uh, Kenneth Murray's got it. But I'm thinking Gallimore up the middle. If he can get past yeah, that center right. and guard, and he I, can get something up the middle. That disrupts the whole thing. And I think Bletch will be better this year also. Well, so, they took him down to the Big 12, they, so they think they, a lot of yeah, Monty and, Bledsoe. And they think a lot of Ken Murray, because they took him as a sophomore. There you go. I they like that. They didn't take Caleb Kelly. They took Kenneth Murray. Hey, that's going to do it for this week's edition of the OU Football Preview Show from Matty McMillan's Irish Pub. 150th and North Penn. You got to come by. It's a great new concept by the Hal Smith Restaurant Group. That's going to do it for this week. We'll see you next time on the OU Football Preview Show.